Welcome back, my friends, to Twisted Stitches. How's everybody doing on this Friday, December 24th, 2021? It's Christmas Eve, guys. I can't believe it. So, uh, first I want to say thank you so much for joining me every day like you have been. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for taking care of me. I want to know, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you guys. Okay. So, uh, uh, you guys are great. So, okay. So today's, so for day 24, I don't know why I'm so upset. <laughs> Sorry guys. So for today's artwork is called Petunias. So here is a screenshot of um, the artwork. And this is another one where I got a couple of them. This one, uh, when I looked it up, I actually wrote in there georgiokeefe.org. So I remembered, so I didn't have to figure out which one I got it from. So that one came from georgiokeefe.org. <laughs> This one here was just an unknown site, but you can see it's a little bit, the, the flower's a little bit more vibrant. I think that's it. And then I did see this one. This is like some site trying to sell uh, reprints or something like that. So I don't know if that's an accurate depiction of it, but I just figured I'd put it in there for you guys to see. So. So Petunias was done in, I found two dates. Um, the, the first date that I found said 1924, and then some other sites said 1925. I believe 1924 is the correct year. This is an oil on panel, which when I just, just to make sure I was thinking it was correct, an oil on panel is an oil painting on like a flat piece of wood or a few wood slats or something like that. So that's what this is. So there's a little bit of information that I took off the website. Uh, I figured I'd share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy listening to these little tidbits. So here it is. Um... In the summer of 24, she began planting beds of blue and purple petunias in order to study their subtle, radiant hues. The growing of the petunias that pivotal summer provided the inspiration for her first enlarged floral, floral painting, Petunia Number no. 2. I don't know if that says Petunia Number no. 2 or not. An extraordinary prelude to the artist's flower paintings, long considered her most original contribution to the 20th century art. O'Keefe's preoccupation with petunias culminated in this 1925 canvas. So petunia number two must have been an oil on canvas. Uh, I don't know why they kept jumping to that when this was talking about this particular one, but that's whatever. So um, it states here that petunias, a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe, was painted in 24 and exhibited in 25. It was the first in a highly esteemed series of paintings that used flowers as their theme. So it states that the rich purple of the flowers contrasting with the white background make the flowers seem to stand out from the canvas as if they are floating in isolation while the subtle layering of petals gives depth to the flowers themselves. It says it was groundbreaking in the use of color and scale. She used this highly detailed and expressive study of nature to bring into focus the small things in life. Like she had stated that she liked that people had to stop and look and stare. She didn't just make flowers, little tiny flowers. She made them big and large and made people look and all that stuff. So here is day 24, Yart of Felicity Yarn Studios. There's something in here. Ooh, a tea. Stash Christmas in Paris. Uh, so it says its ingredients are cocoa shells, peppermint, lavender, natural chocolate flavor, and vanilla extract. Ooh, this sounds like it might be yummy. I don't know. A little chocolate and peppermint. Mmm, kind of sounds good. So let's see what this yard looks like. 
it is stunningly beautiful guys oh my goodness this is very very pretty there we go look at those purples are they not beautiful oh, they're so pretty so here is the yard let's take a look at the inspirational photo and I think we're a little bit more, maybe a little bit more like this. Maybe. Let's see. What's the other one? Let's get the other one. Oh, it could be this one too. So it's real pretty. The, the different hues of purples in there. Very beautiful. Very pretty. Oops. Oh, there's a stitch marker, and I did not even know, or it's a pin. It's like a little um, button-type pin, and it's got a flower on it. I didn't notice that. Look at me. There it is. It's a cute little, like, a, what do you call them, a button-type pin. And it looks like the, this yellow one. I'll show you guys. This would be day 15. It looks like the pictures of, let me see. Let me go back, day 15. It looks like the yellow hickory leaves. That's it. See, it, I was right with the colors and I was right with the picture. So it looks like the yellow hickory leaves. Oh, that's pretty. I'll have to wear this tomorrow. So there you go, guys. There is day 24 of Felicity Yarn Studios 2021 Christmas Advent, inspired by the artwork of Miss Georgia O'Keefe. Absolutely stunning, stunning. It's Christmas Eve, guys. I can't believe it. It's, I can't believe it. I hope everybody's having a marvelous Christmas Eve. I hope that your Christmas is gonna be wonderful. I really do. So let's pick up the heavy duty handy dandy wooden dowel it is actually very heavy so here is yesterday's oh look at now we're gonna throw a little bit of this purple well a lot of purple <laughs> and it's gonna blend in nicely with yesterday's see there yesterday's and now today's oh look at guys okay let's get this all in here let's let you look at these these are the last few there we go and then we have our lighter colors here in the middle and we have some nice, some bolder neutrals in the beginning and some light neutrals and pastels. And then here we're ending with some nice bolder looking colors. These are all the minis. This is it for the minis. Tomorrow's is the full Hank, the full 100 gram Hank. These were all the 20 gram minis. 92-ish yards. Tomorrow's the big daddy Christmas day uh, opening. So let's take a look at all these minis all together. Here we go. And there it is. That is today's color. Oh my goodness, guys. This is so pretty. What do you think? Oh, it's gonna make a beautiful project. I am so excited to see tomorrow's big Hank. It's been sitting here just like, ah, and I, you know how bad I wanted to open this, but you guys would know, obviously. I mean, I've been waiting since, no, when did I get this? I got this, I don't know, middle of November, maybe the beginning of November I got this. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting so long. Okay, so that's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here because I've got tons to do. I'm sure you guys do, too. You don't want to hear me blabber on anymore. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate it very much. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve. I hope to see you tomorrow for Christmas morning. I will be here early in the morning because I do have tons of stuff to do. So I'm going to wake up very, very early, get ready get my filming done, try to get the, I'm going to try to get it up early and then it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. So you guys be blessed. Love you guys very much. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay creative. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye guys.
Thank you.